Having a summer camp happen during COVID-19 is a pretty big deal. Roots might be like the only camp that really maintained a lot of its ordinary structures amid COVID. We were thinking, what are we going to do about the Roots Summer Leadership Academy this year? How can we still reach out to our youth? And so what happened is that we really did a major pivot, looked at how we might be able to provide a fully outdoor camp. Each instructor kind of had to be a generalist to be able to teach all of the subjects of the art, the social and emotional learning, and the STEM. I think that all parents are just wanting some type of options available for their children. And I think that being able to have a camp that's COVID compliant and uh, have that option available is everything. It felt like hope for three weeks. I mean, it shifted our whole household dynamic. It was amazing. My favorite thing about the Roots Summer Leadership Academy is the people and the and the teachers, you get like better relationship with the community. I went there and I ended up having lots of fun and meeting new friends. I was wanted in that group, you know, like I was friends with the others. This is the best summer camp I've been to so far. Every day we have a word of the day or word of reflection for the day. And then we say what that means in Swahili. And then we usually have an activity guided around that word every day. When STEM projects are integrated into something that is tangible, that you can see the result of and build with, and also be a part of team building to collaborate with others to do it, I think it just deepens young people's learning. And so I was excited that that was a part of the camp. I learned to try new things and don't be shy to express yourself. The kids are super sweet, super smart, uh, super creative. Uh, they bring up such great ideas. It's much better to socialize than to stay quiet because once we started socializing in my tent, it, everything just became a lot more fun. I really liked it and I think my kids really liked it too. So overall as a parent, just seeing your kids happy, is it, my heart was full. I'm glad they made it fun and engaging. I learned new things like I learned more about Sohili. I learned about sound, I learned about the engineering design process. We did like rocket launchers, marshmallow rocket launchers. Everyone did really good. I think they're really into pumping the water with their foot. I think there's just something like biomechanically about hitting that foot pedal that the kids are really into. We did definitely a lot of art and um, a lot of learning about black history. Children love to learn about other cultures. They love to learn about people. An education that emphasizes Afrocentric history, it really humanizes the people who came before us. You know, black people, we are here in New Mexico. Many of us are natives here that um, many people don't really know about, but I think that it is important um, to know that we do have a voice here. I love that my kids got to be a part of it. I love that they got to see uh, black members of our community being in leadership. We would definitely come back for the next one and try to bring as many people with us as possible. Yeah, for sure. Community is just about unity and it's about understanding, just finding ways to connect, finding ways to engage, and ultimately finding ways that we can feasibly love one another.